Thank you, Lord. Oh, yes. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. God is awesome. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Miracle working God. Miracle working God. Nothing is too difficult. It's the miracle working God. Jesus. I just turn the volume up a little bit. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We will worship you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. For God is with me. that you've been worked you've worked in our lives just the mere fact that we were in bed last night and many of us um, you woke us up this morning we can see that also as a miracle because on our own we cannot get up from our bed it's the mercies of God that's woke us up and we thank you for that father we do not take that for granted and so today we bring our brothers and sisters our children those who are fighting any form of disability those who may be in need father we, we know um, last Thursday and even prior to that the storm that has passed through and many people were affected by it so father today I pray 
see that you will. I thank you because you are the Lord of Jaira. You will provide. I thank you for, for providing for those individuals who may have lost their home or who may have lost some, some um, something on their property. I thank you because you are the God who restores. And I thank you for providing every need. I pray that they will not worry. I pray they will not walk in fear because God, you have not given your children the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. They will not to worry but they will cast their care in you so we thank you father we speak to every situation in their lives we speak to them we call them to come in line because the voice of the Lord is powerful the voice of the Lord is full of majesty the voice of the Lord breaks the cedars yes God spoke and broke those cedar trees and even right now today God has spoken every stronghold in your life today every condition at this day that you cannot seem to understand you don't seem to understand where you know you cannot fix bring it to God God has already spoken to that situation and let's wait in Thanksgiving wait in Thanksgiving to see God work it out so father we give you praise every condition in our lives when it's depression oppression whatever bills they are in our lives that seem impossible we bring them to you and we thank you that you have spoken to that condition we give you praise in Jesus name amen thank you thank you all for joining us Misha good morning all good morning all I know it's been a week since we were on together and I do miss you guys but God is good thank you Michelle said you are a warrior and dedicated to the Lord. You traveled this morning and you are on Facebook. Let's do it. Um, let's see. Please. Praising God and you are praising God. God is good. God is good. To God be the praise. Thank you, Michelle. To God be all the praise. Thank you. Welcome all again this morning. And we have a bit as a guest today. As you see by my side, those of you who know, she is my sister one of my oldest sisters. I think I mentioned before, I'm from a very large family, a family of 12. Yes, beautiful, lovely family of 12. My parents mm -hmm. love the Lord, they love children. I'm the 11th child of a family of 12, and you are number eight. <laughs> this is one of my big sisters. Her name is Naomi Williams, and she's gonna be sharing with us this morning. But Praise God. Yes, hallelujah. Just want to touch before I hand over the hand over to you guys, mighty woman of God. Yes, she is. God is good. And um, we've been talking about the names of God. And the names that we've touched so far, Elohim, Creator, El Elohim, the mighty, strong God. The second name we touched on was Jehovah Jireh. That's the Lord, our provider. The third name we touched on was Jehovah Rapha, the Lord, our healer. Mm -hmm. And the fourth was Jehovah Nissi, our banner, Nissi, yes. I remember we spoke of the children of Israel when they were there, and, you know, and, and um, God was with them. When, when, when the enemy pursued them, Pharaoh didn't want to let them go, but God was there. He was protecting them. He was their banner. They trusted in him. Today, we are talking about... Jehovah Raha. I think that's the right thing is Raha. And it means God, the Lord is my shepherd. So enjoy as my sister Naomi Williams yeah. shares with you what the Lord has placed in her heart about the Lord our shepherd. Praise and God. Is he indeed our shepherd? And we have found him to be our shepherd in so many ways. But today Let's look at the, I must say I'm happy to be with you this morning, and this was long coming, but today we see what the Lord will share with us today. He must have something new. Every time we go into his word, we find something new. And because we hear it's shepherd, you know, the first thing that comes to our mind is that Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd. But we want to look and see what other information we can get today. So I'm reading here, it says that, you know, it's from the Hebrew word meaning to be or to exist, right? And here I want to look at, it says this Roha derived meaning means shepherd. In Hebrew, a shepherd is one who feeds or leads his flock to pasture 
And so we're going to look at some scriptures, right? Because it said, it talks about an extent translation that says, this word re is a friend or it's a companion. So this indicates to us that that's what God can be to us if we would allow him to. Okay? And so we can look at the scripture in Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 11 to 15. Let's see. Ezekiel 34, 11 to 15 says, For thus said the Lord, For them, behold, I, even I, I will both search my sheep and seek them out, as a shepherd seeketh out his flock in the day that he is among his sheep, and they are scattered. So will I seek out my sheep, and will deliver them out of all places where they have been scattered in their cloudy and dark day. And I will bring them out from the people, and gather them from the countries, and will gather them from the own land and feed them upon the mountain of Israel by the rivers and in all the inhabited places of the country and I will feed them in a good pasture and upon the high mountains of Israel shall their fold be there shall they be in a good field and in a fat pasture shall they feed upon the mountains of Israel. I will feed my flock, and I will cause them to lie down, said the Lord God. Praise his name. What a word. What promises that he has given unto us here. Repeatedly he says, I will feed, I will feed, and I will take you cause you to be on a mountain. If you're in a dark place, I will cause you to lie down. So many times we have feeling of being abandoned by others, rejected, we feel dejected, we feel left out of things. And many times we can't even describe our feelings but we know that we need something else we know that we need something more and our god here is telling us that he can be all that to us Amen. isn't that a good promise Amen. isn't that a yes. promise that we can hold on to yes. and know that he will come through for us because when he gives his word he keeps it because he's a he's a promise keeping god Amen. he's a god who gives his word and he keeps it yes yes so here in Ezekiel, it tells us that he is a shepherd. And when we think about the, the, a shepherd in real, our everyday life, who takes care of sheep and take them places where they make sure they have water, in green pastures, they can have green grass. And God is comparing himself to this earthly shepherd. But because he's our heavenly father, he's more than enough. Hallelujah. He's doing more than our yes. natural shepherds, yes. our earthly shepherds, That's because right. he knows exactly what we want. Amen. He knows what's in our heart. He's yes. all knowing. Yes. And because yes. he's all knowing, we yes. can know without a shadow of a doubt yes. that he knows exactly yes. what we need Hallelujah. at what time, yes. what season is it? Mm. As with the earthly shepherd knows what to do for his sheep when it's winter, wouldn't have them exposed to the extreme temperatures that's so cold, too cold for them. And even so, our heavenly father will know what temperatures we need. Amen. Many times, our believers are everywhere where it's very cold, extreme temperatures, terrible winters. And summers are so hot, God is concerned about all that. Yes. That's why many times when we can talk to him about what we're dealing with, he can come through for us and supply the necessary temperatures, food, nutrition, physical, and spiritual food that we need Amen. to go on. So Jehovah 
Raha, the Lord is my shepherd. And we can look also in Genesis 48, verse 15. Which says, And be blessed, and he blessed Joseph, and said, God, before whom my father Abraham and Isaac did walk, the God which fed me all my life, long unto this day. And so, here we see, in this verse, it tells us that, God is referred to as the one who fed, who fed him. That's one. And also in 49.24, where it says, but his, but his bow abode in strength, and the arm of his hands were made, a mount, were made strong by the hands of the mighty God of Jacob. From whence there is shepherd, from whence is the shepherd, the soul of Israel. Again, he is our shepherd, mentioned here that he has been a shepherd to those men who were also shepherds. And so we all know of David, our the shepherd that we know of so well, mm -hmm. who spoke of God. As a shepherd in Psalm 23 the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want he maketh me to lie down in green pastures he restores my soul he leadeth me into path of righteousness for his name's sake now let's stop a little bit just as David can make this personal and this has made scripture for us today that we too when we want to talk to the lord and give him praise and thanks for his provision in our lives we too can make it personal even if we're reading the psalm of david this is it the lord is my shepherd and right now in agreement in unison we all can say the lord is my shepherd and I know we have all have testimonies how God has guided us and led us in many ways and provided for us. As David is saying here, he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Many persons complain of not being able to sleep well at night. But I can tell you, as you say these words and put your head down at night you know that the lord who gives his beloved sleep can give you a good rest at night so he make it david says he make it me to lie down in green pastures he leadeth me beside still waters do you know that the natural earthly shepherd would not take the sheep to rough murky waters where it's really rough because they would not be able to enjoy drinking from those waters it has to be still flowing softly still waters and this is what david is talking about the lord he said he make it he leads me besides the still waters and those waters did what David needed at the time. He said, he restored my soul. Just as how we will use beverage or water to quench our thirst. Right? You may try other beverages, but when you get to the water, that's the one that really can quench your thirst. And then you, I know many persons would have a drink and say, Ooh, I needed that mm -hmm. and you feel refreshed and we can go on so with the Lord our God he knows mm -hmm. that the other spiritual things that we can take on like scripture readings we can read um, books read by 
Christian writers. We can read poetry by Christian writers. We can listen to other music and everything by Christian writers. But when it comes to the word of God, that is the one to restore our soul. That is the needed one to give us what we need. Right? That is what we need. So let us remember to, according to the word of God, to look to our shepherd yes. who would lead us into besides the still waters who would restore our soul mm. and lead us into paths of righteousness mm. many times we can have unrighteous thoughts yes. and attitudes right and we may choose unrighteous things to think or do or say but then when we realize that this is not doing it for me, we know to go to our shepherd who can restore us to that spirit of place of right relationship with him. Yes. Restores to our right thinking, our right mind. Yes. Because we can say, as the word of God says, we have the mind of Christ. And once we go in him and have his mind and his word to restore us, to bring us back to that place, yes. just as if we have never sinned, he has been doing that for us. And he will continue to do that for us. So this shepherd takes care of your thirst, takes care of our food, our intake, spiritually, physically, emotionally. He takes care because he wants us to be built up in him he Amen. wants us to achieve the fullness that he has for us yes, yes. and so he restored my soul he leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake Amen. and literally literally paths of righteousness because many times we are accustomed to going a particular way to go to whatever it's a restaurant or the bank or school or work and one day the lord will say take this other way instead of that one and if we're listening we will walk in obedience and take another way to get to our destination and therefore afterwards we will find out mm -hmm. that the Lord protected us from some accident That's or right. something <laughs> or had us take a longer way to prevent us from running into some form of difficulty. And so he knows the path that we take. And so we can say that he goes before us. Yes. He goes before us in our going out and our coming in from this time forth yes. Yes. and even forevermore. Amen. Let us be in tune to his voice. Listen mm. to him in different ways that he's talking to us. Whether we can take another route to, to our job or someplace else so that he can lead us in the paths of righteousness the right path for us the right way to go the right job to get the right decision concerning everything in our lives we all make mistakes from time to time and i said you know i what well, i didn't have a confidence about this decision yes. but because someone has encouraged me i went ahead and made that decision and then we have learned from that not to do that but to listen to the voice of God in spite of encouragement in spite of what people are th saying to us and there are times we may have to explain ourselves and this makes me remember Hannah when she was crying to the Lord for her need of having a son a baby and there in the house of God, she cried to the Lord. And Eli, the priest, thought that she was drunk. <laughs> and what did she do? She said, no, my Lord, I'm not a woman of Belial. I'm not a woman who's doing that. But my heart is heavy. And she told him what her concerns were and why she was, cry why she was crying. And he said, go, my daughter. Go, the Lord takes care of you. You will have what you're asking. 
And you know what? She was not disrespectful to him. She did not um, say, well, he's not even taking care of his sons. Why should I listen to him? He already misjudged me. But her heart was in the right place. Oh, and she took his word, even though he was a man of God, who was not in the right place as he should be. But his word, because he was already the anointed of God, his word meant well. And she followed and she went in peace and she did get what she was asking the, the Lord for. So sometimes we can take time off to tell someone, this is what I'm reaching to God for. Sometimes we can do that. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm reaching to God for. And let them know that what path you're, th you're taking. So you would not be distracted. So you would not get angry with people who misjudge you. That's right. But you will wait on God and allow him to lead you in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Mm -hmm. Because after Hannah got what she wanted from the Lord. She rejoiced. She went back to the temple and she did that praise and worship before God. She took time out to give him glory. Hallelujah. And so when it says for his name's sake, yes. when, he, when we know that God has led us into paths of righteousness, Hallelujah. we give him the glory. Hallelujah. We let others know yes. this is why I'm rejoicing because the Lord has been my shepherd. Hallelujah. He has been satisfying me in good mm. things. Hallelujah. He has given me what I needed for the time. Yes. He has been giving me the right oh. thing in the right season. Oh, so I give him praise. Hallelujah. I worship him. Hallelujah. I let him get all the glory. Mm. I take none from myself. Jesus. I don't give it to another person and say, Jesus. because they did or they encouraged or they said this mm. or they said that. But it's God. Hallelujah. He's the ultimate source. Yes. He is the one who would cause someone to give you an encouraging word. So he is the one oh, for God. his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Yes, we have gone through dark places. Through the shadow of death. And we were fearful. And many times we are still being fearful. But when that fear comes, that's when you're going through whatever it is, it slows you down. And you're thinking, what if? What if this can happen? That can happen. It can get so much worse. That's what the fear does. Right? But then we can remember what David says. Even though you're feeling afraid, afraid and you feel in fear and discouragement and discontentment and all sorts of things we can say like David I will fear no evil and why are we saying that when we feel fear because we're going in faith Hallelujah. we're going in faith Hallelujah. and we know this God who did it 10 years ago last month last week he can still do it again. Jesus. And so we're going to go in faith Hallelujah. and say, I will fear no evil. Lord, you are with me. Even in this place, as your word says, wherever you go, I'll be with you. Even in hell, I will be there. Imagine that. Imagine that. You know? God with you in the pit like he was with Joseph. God was in Potiphar's house when David, David was, Joseph, sorry, was serving as a slave. Mm -hmm. He was there with him. In the prison, he was there with him. Mm -hmm. And you would say, how could God be in all those places? Mm -hmm. Yes, he was. Because while he was there, that's where God showed up. Yes. And have him Hallelujah. interpret the dreams for mm -hmm. those the baker and the but and Thank the butler. You, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And was give them truth. Glory and the truth God. that Joseph gave them. Oh, that truth to mm. took him out of the prison mm. at the right time. Hallelujah. So when you were going through, 
right now you may feel as if you're in a dark pit Jesus. or you feel like you in that prison someone is trying to control what you say what you think what you read but right there God is there with you in his season in his time just with Joseph he wanted you he will want you to be out at the time to take care of Pharaoh what is that future ahead of you a big future ahead of you that you have no idea of but God is preparing at his time at his season to take you out to that place you know Joseph could have thought well this is a good place but it was house man I'm in charge he has given everything into my hands everything all his finances everything I'm taking care of this is a good place maybe this is it no but God had better than that house for him Amen. but he took him out through a lie used the lie mm -hmm. and took him out of that place yes. to take him to a yet higher place Hallelujah. so let us not be troubled mm -hmm. when bad things come to us yes. when God is the God who knows it all about yes. us he knows and he knows that he can use unfavorable situations yes. to take Hallelujah. us to a higher place yes. to yes. give us a promotion Hallelujah. as he did with Joseph Turn it around. Turn it around. Hallelujah. and so rejoice in whatever state you are in yes. because you know the Lord God is your shepherd he is your shepherd and as with Joseph mm. in that prison Glory. Joseph was not crying and curled up in the corner but again, he was put above all the other prisoners, mm. and he was in charge of them. Mm. Still, that's not God's ultimate job for him. Mm. God wanted him there so mm. he can bring him out at a time when Pharaoh didn't even know what his dream was about. Jesus. And God's might and power, as we have studied in other lessons, his mm. might and power yes. brought Joseph mm. to the place where he can even, he could have said to Pharaoh, this is what your dream is about. He told him what he dreamt. And then explained to him what the dreams meant. Only God can do that. Hallelujah. Forget about the palm readers. <laughs> Don't mess up your life with that. Forget about the, the, the horoscopes. Huh? Mm -hmm. God is the one who's above all of them. Yes. We can trust in that. Yes. Some people may trust in them and say, huh, it worked for me. Some trust in chariots. Some trust in horses. But we will remember the name of the Lord our God. That would work for them, but not for us. And we will not go touch that because we will mess our lives up with those things. But God, who is all-knowing, all-wise, all-powerful, he was with Joseph. And Joseph came forth as the head of that Egypt and that's how God used it in a season so going through a dark place God is bringing you out yes. he's bringing you out he's turning your life around mm. he's turning things around yes. the widow went to an empty wheat bowl wheat bucket nothing was left but one meal mm. and Jehovah Jireh the provider yes. he was a shepherd who take care of her yes. by bringing the man of God to her to sustain him and her for right through the famine to the end of it mm. what God has for you today Hallelujah. are we gonna trust him to be our shepherd yes. who's gonna prepare us a table before me in the presence of my oh, enemies yes all those who are talking about you glory to God. you may say ah, I'm not in a dark place with glory in a pit or in a prison but there are people talking about me, misusing me. They're stepping on me. They're saying all kinds of things evil against me. Mm. The Lord said we will prepare a table before you. Oh, yes. Right in front of yes. their eyes. <laughs> and they would say, oh, I can't even believe it. Look at her. How did she get there? How did this happen? And you will say, the Lord is my shepherd. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thou anointest my head oh, with oil, glory to God. my cup right runneth on. over. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Today you might be in pain. Mm. Glory to God. Today you may feel I can't even open my eyes clear enough 
are wide enough because of their feeling. Something in your body may not be working right. But right now, you can take some Vaseline, you can take some olive oil, coconut oil, any oil, none at all. Mm -hmm. Just put your hand on your head and in unison we say, yes. Thou anointest oh, my yes, head yes, with yes, oil, yes, my yes, cup yes, runneth yes, over. Yes, Surely yes, goodness yes, and mercy yes, shall follow yes, me yes, all the yes, days yes, of my yes, life. Yes, and I will dwell yes, in the house of the yes, Lord forever yes, and ever yes, and ever yes, and yes, ever yes, and yes, ever. Yes, it's yes, limitless. Yes, this is the God we serve. Thank you, Jesus. This awesome. is the God we serve. Awesome. This is the God we serve. Mm -mm -mm. This is the God we serve. Mm. He said, okay, I've been praying that prayer. I've been reading the Psalm of David. I've been saying, thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. But still my money is looking funny. Mm. My cup don't seem to be running over at mm. all. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm still at that place. Glory to God. What do we do? What do we do? We say, Lord, in your son's name, in Jesus' name, we come to denounce the, the work of the enemy. All the stumbling blocks he has put in front of me that I cannot go forward. Remove it in the name of Jesus. He said, if we have a grain of mustard seed, we speak to that mountain and ask it, tell it, command it to move and go into the depths of the sea. So today, call forth your word. Come and command your situation to change. Hallelujah. Call forth. Mm -hmm. Take that mountain to be removed. Tell it to go. In Jesus name. The pain to go. In Jesus name. Lack to, to go. go. In Jesus name. Mm. You lack. What do you lack today? Jesus. You lack Jesus. physical things, food. You lack Jesus. energy Jesus. to go on. You feel listless. You feel down and and, 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 and energy less and drained. Today is the day. Today is your day. Today is your day where you can say, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Because no one in my house, in my bed, in my kitchen, in my living room, no one that comes through my door will be in lack, will be in lack that we will have abundance of rain that's coming, the abundance of rain in our finances, abundance of rain in our emotions, in joy, there'll be no sadness, there'll be joy, and we're calling for joy today, we're calling for joy, we're calling for peace, in spite of what is going on around you, God is the author of peace, and because he's the shepherd of our souls, he is here, he is here to come through for you. So you can say, yes, Lord, you're my shepherd. You anoint us my head with oil. You will take away the pain. You take away grief. You take away suffering. Because these are not of you. And we call for peace in our lives. Amen. Call for peace in every room of your house. You can go right now and call for peace as you touch the pillows and the sheets and the clothing of people who you're praying for. Call for peace in their lives. Amen. Peace on the job. Yes. Peace on the job. Mm. We're calling for peace. In Jesus because our good shepherd. Yes. Yes. God, our good shepherd. Glory to God. Glory to God. He is a peace seeker, mm. peacekeeper. And he's Glory given to us today. To our shepherd. The Lord yes. is my shepherd. Surely goodness and mercy. I remember years ago when I was in a dark place saying, yes. the Lord gave me this voice and he said to me, as you say, thou anointest my head with oil, my cup ran it over, right where you say my cup ran it over, whatever situation you're facing, my cup is better with sadness, depression, whatever so you say, my cup ran it over with joy, my cup ran it over with peace, peace. my cup ran it over with finances, my cup whatever situation you're facing you use what you want, that positive and you see it running over, 
There is no lack. There is no lack. There is no lack in any year of my life because I'm a child of God. And even at this time, that, that, that hurricane that stormed past by last week, mm -hmm. some people may have lost loved ones, some of you. Some of you may have lost your homes. Hallelujah. Some of you may have lost things. The enemy, Jesus, while I was rejoicing and praising we God, we lost, we didn't lose, but the Lord is enhancing our lives. The enemy tried to damage two of our cars as written off its total, but I rejoice because new things, is new beginnings. And so those of you who may have damages to your property, may have lost your home, remember, the Lord is your shepherd. There is no lack. And so you see this as a new beginning. You call forth what you want to see in your life. Lord, I think you have my brand new house. I think you have my brand new car. In spite of what the enemy meant for evil, God has already turned it around. He is your shepherd. And as you say, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Not only me, my children's children. We will dwell. And you call your children's name, your name, your spouse. We will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Let's pray. Father, we just thank praise you. Lord. We thank you because thank you, you are Lord. indeed our our shepherd. Yes, Lord. Help us bring us to the place mm. that we would know there would be no lack no because lack. You, so you are our shepherd. We will not want. So we give you praise. We give you honor and glory. We say thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So we go walk in your victory. I was so mm -hmm. miracle working God and my sister. You remember whatever situation you were in, impossible. God is going to work it out because he's your shepherd. You could encourage them as I get the song ready. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining Walk us. Walk in your victory. Today. Walk in your prosperity. Walk in your gladness with the Lord because this is what he has come to give us. He has come to give us life and life more abundantly. So by faith. Nothing is too difficult, he's a miracle working God. Miracle working God. Miracle working God. Nothing is too difficult, he's a miracle working God. I shall not want. Good pastor. For his sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear you no more. Thou art walking in you. Walk in my miracles, I receive my miracles, my supernatural working God. I receive my miracles, miracle working God. He's my miracle working God. Working, uh, nothing is impossible. He's a miracle working. 
beautiful day and tell somebody about Jesus tell somebody about Jesus your miracle working God and the shepherd of our souls bye have a good day see you next week at the same time 8 o'clock next Wednesday have a blessed day thank you for joining